Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when Intel Wireless AC9462 is not working on your Windows computer. So if you're receiving error code 10 or 43, or if you face any kind of connection problem with Intel Wireless AC9462, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to perform power cycle. To perform power cycle, shut down your computer. So first of all, shut down your computer. Now once you shut down your computer, unplug the power cable from the computer so disconnect the charger from the computer in case of laptop in case of desktop disconnect the power cable from the computer then press and hold the power button on the computer on the computer you have the power button to start or turn off your computer so press and hold the power button after you unplug the power cable press and hold the power button for few seconds for maybe 20 to 30 seconds you can press and hold the power button just to release the static electricity from the computer now turn off your wi-fi router so switch off your wi-fi router and then wait for a few seconds and then restart your wi-fi router and after you restart your wi-fi router now restart your computer and after the system restart now to now try to connect to your wi-fi now the next step is to make sure wi-fi is on in system bios so shut down your computer first and after you shut down your computer go to your system bios to go to the system BIOS for most of the computer, when you start the computer, as soon as you start the computer, immediately keep on tapping the F2 key and it will take you to the system BIOS. Now in system BIOS, make sure Wi-Fi is on. Now, next step is to run network troubleshooter. For this, go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now, if you have Windows 11, then click on system and then click on troubleshoot. If you have Windows 10, click on Update and Security. You will find Update and Security when you open Settings and then click on Troubleshoot. Now click on Other Troubleshooters or Additional Troubleshooters. Now find Network Adapter in the list. In Windows 10, simply click on Network Adapter and then you will see the option which says Run the Troubleshooter. So click on Run the Troubleshooter in Windows 11. Click on Run over here and let the troubleshoot complete. Now, once the troubleshoot is complete, restart your computer and then connect to your Wi-Fi. And that should fix the problem. Now, the ne next step is to run this command. These commands are provided in the video description. So type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app, then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you're opening command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste all the command one by one. Paste it over here, hit the enter key. Now copy the second command, paste it, hit the enter key. Again, copy the third command, paste it, hit the enter key. Now run the next command, hit the enter key. Now run the last command, hit the enter key. Now once this is done, make sure that you restart your computer. So it's telling you to restart this computer. So just restart your computer. And after the system restart, connect to your Wi-Fi. Now the next step is to disable and enable a network adapter. For this, make a right click on the start menu and then click on device manager. Now expand network adapter. In my case, it's Realtek adapter. This is my wireless card. In your case, select your network card over here and then make a right click then click on disable all this is just an example i have a different network card so select your network card and then make a right click then click on disable device click on yes again make a right click and then click on enable device and now connect to your network Now, the next step is to start WLAN auto config service. For this, type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now, find WLAN services. So, over here you can see WLAN auto config. So, make a double click on WLAN auto config and then set it to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. With this selected over here, make a right click then click on restart. 
Now try to connect to your Wi-Fi. Now the next step is to perform network reset. Now to, before you perform network reset, make sure that you have the Wi-Fi password. Because once you perform network reset, it will be asking your Wi-Fi password to connect. So to perform network reset, go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now click on network and internet. Now click on advanced network settings in Windows 10. Simply scroll down at the end, you will find reset, reset network. In Windows 11, click on advanced network settings and then you will see network reset option. Click on it. Then click on reset now. Now it, click on yes. Now once you click on yes, your system might restart. And after the system restart, connect to your Wi-Fi once again. And it will be asking for your password. So enter the password. Next step is to reinstall reinstall network driver. For this, make a right click on the start menu. Then click on device manager. Expand network adapter. Now over here, select your network card, make a right click, then click on uninstall device and then click on uninstall. You can put a check over here and then click on uninstall. And after the uninstall, once the uninstall is complete, restart your computer. Now restart is a must. So after you uninstall your network card, make sure that you restart your computer. Now during the system restart, Windows will Try to install the default driver for your network card and then you can connect to your Wi-Fi. It will be asking for your password, enter the password and connect to your network. Now the next step is to set wireless adapter settings to maximum performance. For this, type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Now go to system and security. Now click on power options. Now click on change plan settings. Click on change advanced power settings. Now over here, expand wireless adapter settings and expand power saving mode. And on battery or plugged in, select maximum performance. So select maximum performance in both the case. And then click on apply. OK. And then try to connect to your Wi-Fi. Next step is to install wireless driver from your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell website. If you have Lenovo computer, go to Lenovo website. If you have HP computer, go to HP website. So go to your system manufacturer website and then to install the driver, you need internet connection. You need active internet. For this, you can connect ethernet cable. So if your computer has a ethernet port and if your computer has, a, if you have an ethernet cable and if your computer has an ethernet port, you can connect Ethernet cable, go online and go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number. This is just an example. I'm showing for Lenovo. You can go to Dell, HP, Asus, whichever brand you have. Go to your system manufacturer website, enter your, select your model number, and then you can find the driver for your network card and then click on download. And once the download is complete, this is just an example. Download the file, install the file. So you need internet connection for this. So if your computer has an ethernet port and if you have an ethernet cable, you can go online and then install the wireless driver from your system manufacturer website. Now, in case if you if you don't have the ethernet cable or your computer does not have an ethernet port, in that case, you can use another computer with internet access. So if you have another computer with internet access, you can download the wireless driver to the USB flash drive or external hard drive. And then you can connect the USB flash drive and hard drive to the computer on which Wi-Fi wi is not working. You can install the driver. You can transfer the file, the, the driver, once you download it. Now, once you click on download, once the download is complete, you can, once the download is complete, over here, once the download is complete, transfer this file to your external hard drive or flash drive. You can copy and transfer this file to your external hard drive or flash drive, and then connect the hard drive or flash drive to the faulty computer where wireless is not working, and then install the driver over there. And after the installation, you connect to your Wi-Fi. Now, the next step is to update your system BIOS. To update your system BIOS, 
again go to your system manufacturer website so again if you have ethernet cable and if your computer has a ethernet port you can go online using ethernet cable and then select your model number and this is just an example i'm showing for dell so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then select the bios file select the bios file and then click on download now once the download is complete run this file and then update your system bios now in case of laptop make sure the battery on your computer is more than 10 percent and make sure charger is connected to the computer so during the bios update do not unplug the power cable make sure power cable is connected all the time because the system will restart during the bios update and after this bios update log into your computer and then you can check the wi-fi now if you don't have a ethernet cable then again you can use another computer so you can download the bios file transfer the bios file to external hard drive or flash drive and then connect the flash drive or hard drive to the computer and then update your system bios now the next step is to reset your computer to reset your computer go to the start menu then click on settings in windows 10 click on update and security and then click on recovery in windows 10 click on windows update then click on advanced option then click on recovery and then here you can see reset pc now before you perform reset make sure that you create a backup before the reset because during the reset you might lose all the data your personal data and application on the computer so create a backup before reset so click on reset and then here you can see two options keep my files which will remove application and settings but it will keep your personal file in remove everything it will remove all your personal file application and setting so select the option which you want and then click on reset now during the reset your system will restart and then set up your computer and then connect to your wi-fi so after the reset you can connect to your wi-fi so one of the steps should help you to get your network card working so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel